Lee Anderson. Thank you, Mr. Deputy Speaker. Now then, the findings of the Dyson report come as no surprise to many residents in Ashfield who have lost all confidence in the BBC. And I personally have ripped up my TV licence and they won't get another penny from me ever. Because in my opinion, the once great BBC <coughs> is rotten and my constituents should not have to pay for a service if they don't use it. So does my right honourable friend agree with me that one way to make the BBC behave in the future is to make it a subscription service? Well, I would say to my honourable friend that I think he is absolutely right that one of the great challenges the BBC faces is to reconnect with the people that he represents. I think there is a widespread feeling that the BBC is too metropolitan-centred and that it has lost touch with the views of a large part of the British population. That is something which I think the BBC themselves recognise. With regard to subscription, as I said earlier, the licence fee is in place till 2027, uh, when the, this, the current charter expires, but obviously there is bound to be a debate about the future funding. It would require quite significant changes to uh, the way in which people receive their television to move to a fully subscription uh, model, but nevertheless, I have no doubt that that is a debate which uh, has already started and will continue.